All right. Do they call male parcels over over there? Yeah, we say parcel. I don't really. I mean, people say mail, but it's not. You don't really see. It. Everyone will just say parcel. How come, uh, Sesquiz? Why? Why you ask? Uh, I will start in three, two, one. Go. Let's do this shit. I need to remember to um to also like uh tick off the box or, or like split the boxes so it says area one. When I finish area one, I want to remember to or I need to remember to split. It, you know. Cause last time when we when I when I did the speed run, like when I finished an area fully, I didn't um I didn't split it off. Did you watch the Euros? I haven't been watching much of it. Um, Romania, they won their first game. I bet you're happy about that. They gave a good thrashing to Ukraine. I saw that. I saw a bit of. Um, most of the other games, yeah, I haven't seen too much of. I saw like the last, the second half of Serbia England. Um, but that's it. You know. Okay, I'm skipping these because like I've already seen them and read through all of them in the first one. Okay, now I already like this play map. Is it a chibi one? I hope Chibi Aporia is on it. I really do. Better not just be Chibi Yuse. I want everyone on there. Chibi Aporia too. I'll be using that playing that everywhere. Like once. But I haven't been watching much of the Euros. Has anyone here been watching much of the Euros? Yeah, back to your things, my god, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I'm uh, unchained player. Are you going to build them? They're not uh, in the play map. No, why'd you have to spoil it, bro? Still, at least I don't know. Damn, bro, so what the hell is the claim at? Actually, don't tell me. I want to figure it out as we go along. I hear somebody had bet 3,500 euros for Ukraine to win. Yeah, they're on crack. No way. Ukraine to win. They will never win a tournament in their life, man. Come on. Relax. Whoever did that, they, they need to get a head checked, man. Honestly. How are they saying? How are they betting? What? See, I don't bet or gamble, but that is crazy, bro. That is actually crazy. I don't know how you can do that. There was someone that bet uh, Leicester City to win the Premier League, and they won a lot. Like, they just put a small little bet, you know. At the beginning of the end, they forgot about it. And then when Leicester won the league, like, he got, like, a lot of money. Too much money. What's Weeble's best skill? He ain't got one. He sucks. You don't want to use him, bro. Don't worry about him. Honestly, you don't want to use, you don't want to use Weevil at all. But I did get speaking of playmats, I did get the um, Mission Circuit Chibi uh, Crow playmat, which is uh, always very nice. I love I love the Chibi stuff, especially on that one. Um, on uh, like the Mission Circuit ones, they're all really nice. Wow. Okay, I'm liking the purple. Who the hell is there? Other than you, say who the hell? Are we're gonna have to make a guess. Yeah, maybe, maybe a uh, flying car man. I mean, they probably will come at some point. But th that's the thing, like with, with Jacob and Lester, because they're side characters. Well, they're not side characters, but they kind of are at the same time. They're like in the middle, right? Because they do have some importance. But I feel like their event won't be have much thought put into it. It would just be like, oh, this character. Jacob will definitely be a raid event. Now Leicester, I don't know. They could make Leicester a raid event as well. Like, I don't know what they could do with them. They could do Duelist Road. I think it would be cool. Where like with Leicester mainly do Duelist Road, and you you know you have them um... because they, they won't do the chibi stuff. Like one thing I've noticed, they don't do chibi playmats for events unless it's like a Duelist Road theme, or you get to actually see the chibi um, characters there. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, uh, I'm trying to think of an example outside of Duelist Road. Um, I can't think. I don't know. But they, I'm sure there was a, one event outside of Duelist Road that gave Chibi a uh, Chibi play maps because it had chi like the Chibi characters there. You know, that's that's the only that's the only annoying thing from what I've noticed from how they do their I don't know play maps I guess. Bad boy. I'm just happy Manchester won a trophy after so long. Are oh, you a Manchester supporter? Oh, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> I'll be honest. Manchester, if you ever come to England, Defcon, 
and you want to visit Manchester or watch Manchester United play, mate, Manchester is an amazing city. It's beautiful. It's great. Well, let me say beautiful because the thing is with Manchester itself, this city, it doesn't look old. I don't know how to explain it. It's not run down. It just looks out of date. Cause like, you know how like all the factories back in the day were in Manchester, like a lot of the infrastructure looks old. It has a very old like factory look. You, you realize it when you get, if you ever visit there. But overall as a city, Manchester, amazing man. I had so much fun like being there. It's great. But yeah, they did, they did win a trophy indeed. Bit of a surprise though, to be fair. To be fair, it was kind of like reverse karma or not reverse karma. Karma reverse karma, whatever you want to call it. Because last year when they lost uh, to Man City in the FA Cup, they conceded a goal early. This year they scored first early against Man City. That, so when I when I when I when I saw that, I was like, yo, that's pretty sick. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm wasting time here. Shit. Okay, I should split it there. Um, where is it? Change area. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm trying to get a good time on this, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to program a website for speedruns on this game. Make it a category because I don't think Duel Links has its own category on any speedrun website on speedruns.com or whatever. But I will get into speedrunning for Crash and Ultra Cup for sure. That's all right. I got. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, Saturday, Romania play with Belgium. I hope they win. I bet seven on, and I can win. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Shani. Did you bet on the Ukraine game as well? But yeah, Belgium for me, no offense to anyone from Belgium, but your team sucks, bro. I've never rated Belgium. I've always thought they were overhyped. Because um, the thing is, there's very good players there, but as individuals, they're good players. Not as They don't play good as a team. It's just all egos there. Do you get what I'm saying? Just egos and everything. They're not like an actual good team, you know? Like... You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't see them winning anything. They're, they're like England in a way. I don't see them winning anything for a good amount of years. You know, they got semi-final in the World Cup. I think that's the furthest they'll ever go. That was their golden generation. That was their time to win any tournament. They got semi-finals. You know, and I think they got. Uh, they lost in quarterfinals in the Euros with that same squad after. The, after so, yeah. Or even not even after. It was before that, right? Yeah, 2016 Euros. They got lost in quarterfinals. Then uh, 2018 World Cup, third place. Yeah, that, that's the peak that they'll ever get. That, that was their peak. They always produce talent though. So maybe one day, but until then, I don't know if it's a Belgian mentality thing, you know, if it's a, you know, a natural person, a personality trait for Belgians or something, but their ego's got to go, bro, all these players, because they're all just individuals, not, not a team at all. I've been to London 20 years. Oh my god, 20 years ago. You must have been a little kid. Don't tell me your age, you deaf dumb. Don't tell me your age. 21, and I got 38 back. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, I'm trying it. Yeah, it was a good win for Romania. Maybe Romania might be um, the dark horse of this tournament. They might be like the bet. Like, you know how like every tournament a small team does really, really well? Like last time in the Euros, I think it was Denmark. Um, so yeah, maybe this one, it might be Romania. But so everyone's just played one game. So if, ooh, box chips, nice. Bro, they need to put more box chips in events, man. Because the only way we get, especially like in like, things with Duel Links, certain months are really dead and they don't put much um, events in them. So it's just like the only way to get box chips if you spend your gems on like packs for the new boxes. They need to bring more box chips, man. This is good. I like that. I need to count how many box chips after this. But yo, Salty Egg, what's up, bro? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Guys, give Salty Egg a nice one. Welcome. Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you, my friend. Hope you're all well. Welcome, man. Do you play Duel Links? Do you prefer to sit back and watch it? If you do play, what deck do you like to man? Who's your favorite character, my friend? I remember one time on that uh, mission circuit thing, I had like a thousand and something laps, bro. It was crazy. Probably during like a KC Cup or something as well. Okay, I had it. 
or maybe I was playing the shit out of ranked. I don't know. The underdogs, yeah, yeah. It might be Romania this year, man. Because that is a strong start. 3 0 win against Ukraine. Fingers with Ukraine, they've always had a decent team, but they've never done like. I think their best team was 2006 when they went to the quarterfinals in the Germany World Cup and they lost to Italy. I think it was like 4 0 or something like that. Or 3 0. I think it was 3 0. Um, yeah, they had a solid team then, you know, with Shevchenko, Timoshak. You know, Shovkovsky. Um, but other than that, yeah, just... 2012, they had a solid team. 2012 Euros, that was an alright team. But after that, yeah, they just just nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just not been that great. It's been average, you know. Qualify for Euros, maybe a World Cup every now and then. But, you know. They're not shit, but they're not amazing. They're just, they're just there, you know. Maybe they are shit. <laughs> but still. Zombies is number one deck in WCS. Oh, really? No, you're joking me, Flying Gun Man. Are there? Oh, is it because everyone's using Super Poly with that deck? When we go and do dual rooms? Probably tomorrow. What, you mean tournament, Soul Is that what you're talking about? Single goal was almost offside. Hey, we take them regardless, offside or not, bro. It don't matter. It does not matter. I need to remember to split this as well. But yeah, I, I wish character events were more like this, though. I don't like having to farm at the gate. I think it's stupid. I think they should change like character events to this, or follow a similar format to this or or what's it called you know when Supreme King Jaden came to the game and Axel came to the game like that as well I like that that was cool it was that wave jewel scramble type shit I think England's best squad was from two yes 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 that was the golden generation they had Rooney a young Rooney um, Rio Ferdinand John Terry Owen Hargreaves Joe Cole David James no, 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 David James wasn't the goalkeeper. Paul Robinson was the goalie. You know, talk about England. They've always had the right goalies as well. But I don't know what it is. Like, they just never, I don't know. Pickford is shit, by the way. He's shit. He is so shit. I don't care what anyone says. He's horrendous. Hell yeah, fine car, man. I hope you are just for fun. What do you mean, Sorry, egg? What, tomorrow for Jewel Room? We'll do a tournament tomorrow. I'm thinking off meta because we haven't done off meta for a little while. Well, it feels like it at least. Yeah, was it yesterday? No, not yesterday. Last week, Sunday, we did a free to play tournament, I think. But yeah, next week we're going to be doing zero gem though, guys. So for anyone that likes the zero gem format, remember next week. So get your farming ready. You know, farm this event if you want to make a deck through, through Sherry's cards. I've already been sent a deck for it by Borak, and his deck is looking nice. So. Oof showed me his deck a little while back. It's looking spicy so far. Wait for ban list? No, nah, hell no, man. We ain't waiting for nothing, bro. We ain't waiting for nothing. I, I ain't no slave to Konami, bro. I'm waiting for Konami. I do like this dual background, though. Oh, I can't believe they did this. Fortissimo, the mobile fortress. It's amazing. I love it. I don't know if Flying Cart, man. I ain't no slave for Konami, bro. Screw them. Honestly. Those losers. Oh my god, floating out again and again. Warrior stalling me out, man. That's my favorite character. You can't be doing that. There we go. Get that place in. Yeah, like, speaking of, um, like, Aporia. Yeah, if, back to talking about Jacob and Nesta. Like, if Jacob came to the game, I think he'd give us, like, some Machina support. Um, but yeah, I need to, I need to make a video about that. Like, for 5Ds, character level ups and stuff. I need to make that video. Right, nice. Oh, that's a keys. That's who the pink was. All right, cool. Zone complete. We can uh, split that. All right, now we can move on to the next area. This part. Yeah, this part was crazy in the anime, bro. But the one before that, where 40, the, the Aporia jewel, for me, that was the best jewel in 5Ds in season two. Oh, I have to pick a 5Ds character? Oh, my God. All right, we have to make this shit quick. I don't even know what deck is on these characters. Uh, we'll use Luna. 
what is her freaking what is her deck? What is her deck? I don't even know what it is. What even is it? Perfect, perfect, perfect. We've got a farm deck on her as well. Oh my god, we're wasting time yet. I got proxy for the new Fire King from OCG, but I only use it when it is in TCG. Ah, it's not out yet. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, for me, I'm waiting for Battle Drones to get printed, man. I want to use that deck. That deck looks fun. Super, super fun. Yeah, I right, Antinomy's AI is not easy, bro. I'll tell you that. Especially at level 40, he pops off, bro. I'm not even joking. He pops off. Like, big time. Big, big time. But we need more free to play single cards as well. That's what we need more of. Because that's one thing I've noticed about like zero gem tournaments. Certain synchro decks like that can be played, like TGs, don't really have much options. You know. Popping them things. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sesquiz. Sesquiz, you've been playing this much lately? Is anyone else farming this event? Because I'm, I'm definitely trying to get the prismatics, man. I want to get try and get prismatic necro synchron i like that card i like the card art for it usually like if it's a card i like the artwork of i'll try to get a prismatic like when it's a free play card in an event but i'll take the free prizzy uh floral shielder i'll definitely take that for sure and we can spend all our event coins at the end as well which would be nice to some big opening bro come on Speaking of Necro Synchro, it's right there. Whereas Necro Floor, whatever it is. I haven't played since they gave me that Cyber Structure Day. Really? Why not? Why haven't you played since then? Hmm? What's been going on, buddy? Wow, that first area was only five minutes. Second area was like nearly ten minutes. You haven't played since five months? What? So how come you want a jewel room then if, if you haven't played since five months, Salt Yeg? What's been going on? <laughs> Are you trying to return today? Is that what it is? Damn, five months. See, I'd like to take a break off this game so I could get the um, returning player like gem rewards and stuff. Is Antinomy in this one? Oh, I hope he... No, that's Luna. It's just... Bro. How are you going to have Team 5? These are not have Bruno in there, bro. Come on. Can't do that to my boy. Play my Akashi with Sherry this event. Nice, 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 nice. I can unlock the Cybers character with my character tickets or any skill or Cybers stuff. Oh, you can unlock it normally. He's easy, bro. You just need to get stage 7 or stage 10 on Brains World. You're talking about playing back. Yeah, he's easy to unlock, bro. Don't stress. You can do it, bro. Do it now. If you got time. Why not? Just get the jewelist challenges done. Should have asked us in the Discord, but like, yo, guys, how do I do this? Would help you. But yeah, I remember seeing Chibi Aporia in um, who's Julius? It was a Julius Road event uh, for Five Ds, and that's when Sherry first appeared too. And I was so annoyed, like they didn't give like, like what's it called? They didn't give um, like a playmat for him. You know, they did it. I'll, I'll show you guys the playmat afterwards. That I'm talking. Remind me, Soda, show the Chibi playmat. Just remember to tell me that, guys, because yeah, I need to show you what I thought we were gonna get. Because I've got a bunch of stuff from Julius Road in the past. I'll show you guys afterwards. Cool, nice. I don't know if, I've, if there's been a Chibi uh, Antinomy in this game or not. No, not Mission cir Circuit. Other Julius Road events. I'll show you guys. Oh, hey, Luna look, Leo looks cool. Chibi, that looks pretty cool. Oh, nice. All right, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're towards the end anyway. I'm using my old decks. What decks are they? What are your old decks? Hey, speaking of old decks, we did some Edison yesterday. And I think I've got a new deck or new rogue deck that I want to build. Uh, Telly Dad. Or what's this? there's another version of it, Welly Dad as well. You use like telekinetic something. It's like E Telly. You special summon like um, level twos from your graveyard there. 
and you take damage equal to their level. Something like that. Big damage, let's go. Ah, oh, Stardust, TGs, okay. TGs are fun, man. I love TGs. I'm so glad they had a little comeback. Got Cog with them, KC Mac. I think I've got KC Mac with them. Either way, I definitely had my fun playing them again. It was great seeing them back. Especially being able to use stuff like Miscellaneousaurus. Because originally I didn't get to use it like that. I didn't have uh, three Misks and three Raidens. I only had two of each. And the one next one, I forgot the name. Two XC's decks. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So you got fish and. Oh, go, go. I've only seen before the opening could start for the stream. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Are you going to try play next time? Get into Edison Death Gun? Borak was enjoying it, man. Hey, he cooked me yesterday, bro. He beat me for the first time in Edison. He. he cooked me. He did the damn thing. He could oh TG EM1. This is a really good card by the way, EM1. I have that in real life. Secret rare as well I have this. It's a really good card. Oh my god. It's such a good card. It's like an econ buff for TGs. And that's the first loss we got. Man. Do I even get to move? Alright. 25 places. Wow. Okay. We take those, we take those. 25 places off of that, that's crazy. But yeah. But I do want to build it, some like a Teledad deck. I don't know if I want to build just... I don't think pure Teledad is that good. Maybe zombie Teledad. Or even um, Welly Dad. I'll see. I'll ask people at the locals today, but most of them are going to probably give me like snarky responses. Like, oh, there's no point building it and stuff. I'm just like, mate, it's not about the meta. Though. I don't care about that shit. This is a card we need in dueling, though, for free. We need this shit. Half Librarian, level 45 award for Antinomy. Give me that shit. Why would you summon one? I don't understand. Why would you do that? God, this thing's retarded. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, what? Why would you do that? I mean, I still move, but come on, bro. Like, what? This thing's starting to play retarded now. I don't like it. Why would it? It had so many mon What? I could have banished this monster. I could have done so much there. I swear to God, if it does it again, I'm going to have to man new duel. I can finally summon... Uh, short Quartz Stardust Dragon Short Quartz, what's that? Oh, you mean Shooting Quasar Hell yeah That's a cool monster, I do like it Yes, 1200 damage, we like that Good shit There we go, that's more like it Man, fix yourself bro What the hell's going on? But yeah I could actually dig into some boxes for some, with, with these gems that I'm like starting to get, but I don't really want to, man. Honestly, I really don't. Because again, I don't know what could come out in the next box. I don't even want to carry on Prizzy hunting um, Borrowed Riot Dragon, honestly. I don't want to. Yeah, we've done that as well. Let me clear that. But yeah, I realize, I know I've said, I've probably said this, but. Uh, I, I realized the other day I need one more card for performage. I've pretty much got everything for it, which is cool. I played it for the first time yesterday on ranked. I beat it, um, but I can see why that deck can cause problems. I can see, I can see it. You know, who do I want to duel? What do you mean? What do you mean, so, yeah. As in what? In chat? In this game? Like, what do you mean? Oh, nice for the piercing. I always forget that that pendulum effect from the one effect monster. Yeah, shout out to Viper, man. He gave me this farm deck. So good. Just quick OTK. Do you want to know something? Sorry, I don't even know. 
I feel like it's a really shit answer for your question, but you know, I don't even know. Someone in chat, hmm. You know, I used to do uh, jewel rooms with viewers I when I first started Twitch. I used to do that, it was fun. Bro, the thing is though, with that, like, not all the time. Sometimes there'd be a few instances where people were being a bit annoying. And with, um, it, was, it didn't happen all the time, it's very rare, but it would be annoying, like some people would take people's tables, you know, but I always made sure to keep an eye on the tables and I would know who's next. So even if someone pushed in, I'd be like, he was on that table, I know he was. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I remember back then, like if you were a subscriber, like you get priority or if you're a mod or VIP, you get priority as more like a paid to win type of thing. Um, Oh, those are good times man i stopped doing those maybe one day i'll bring them back but i don't know after a while like less and less people like wanted to play against me not because see I, I make it sound like i was beating everyone i wasn't um i don't know they didn't i don't know less and less people wanted to do that you know less and less people wanted jewel rooms so i had to kind of just stop doing it because it, yeah it just wasn't doing the thing. Look, I swear to God it. Okay, I was gonna say, it doesn't dare. And it goes for a cheeky link summon, fair enough. Yo, Space Shuttle, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, how you doing? You guys, give Space Shuttle a nice and welcome. Do you play Duel Links? You prefer to sit back and watch it if you do play it. What deck do you like to make music for a character? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. There, welcome to the stream special. Yo, oof, what's up, bro? Finished workout too. Love that. No slavery for me. We love an early finish. Good shit. How was work then? You must have had a short shift. That must have been like a five hour shift. Do you know something? Oh, I miss working for this company, but I know if I go back and work there, like, it's just not the same, but. Uh, I remember like midweek shifts were always short, like Wednesday shifts. They'd finish late, but they'd always be short. It would be like 3 till like 10 or 9, you know what I'm saying? 3 p.m. till 9 p.m. Sometimes it would start later or an hour later or an hour earlier. But it finish around between 8, 9, 10, sometimes 11. But like usually it will be even shorter because uh, midweek, it depends, right, on the race day. But majority of the time midweek, it's not that busy. So sometimes they tell you to go home early. They don't want to pay you for not doing much, you know. The tricks. Auto draw looks easy when you use it. Well, maybe you just. Hey, if you want, says Squeeze, I can give you some farm decks. Hey, so, and that's to anyone. If anyone needs farm decks, just ask in the Discord. We can give you farm decks. Everyone has farm decks. There's so many things you can use. Certain decks play really well uh, under the AI, you know. And also, it depends what cards you have or how you built your deck, uh, says Squeeze. But yeah, if you need help, you just just ask. And also, I forgot to switch characters back to Weevil, but that's no point. I think it's not not a bad idea to get Luna some uh, some experience and like a level or two. Um, so then I have another character to fall back off on when I next need to grind up gems. Right now, it's just Weevil. That's my second copy as well. I got a copy through the the free uh, pool, the free Gacha pool. Yeah, what's a good space shoulder? How are you? I still lose my auto draws. Yeah, just ask us. Ask, ask us in the Discord next time. I'll, I'll show. I'll show some farm decks. Remind me end of the stream, says Squeeze. When we finish this uh, event, remind me to show that. So there's that and the Chibi Flame that I need to show you guys. Yo, Cyclone, bro. What's up? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's give Cyclone a nice welcome. How you doing, bro? Nice to see you. Hello. Most relaxed job I've uh, had, constantly finishing work early, boss my manager. See, it's, it's even better when you've got a good boss, bro. I remember when I used to do catering, um, I used to always assign to this, ask to play, work in the same area. And it didn't matter if there wasn't any space available in that area. The, my manager said to me, it was me and a handful of others. And it was so cool because the other people he said this to 
were around my age. We were all like 17, 18, 19. It was around that age group, or even 16. I was 18, right? Eight, like, I started when I was 17. I left when I was like, maybe 19, 20 or something like that. Either way, either way, no. My last shift was around like 20 after the first one. The, the lockdown, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, when it was in its prime, we were around like that age, right? And the people he said, basically said to us, uh, when you work here in this arena or in this specific ground, um, ask for this area, you'll be 100%, you know, I'll 100% confirm you. Like, do you get what I'm saying? He was like, you're 100% guaranteed to work here. Don't worry about it. So it didn't matter, even if like they already had people, he would request us to work there. He'd swap it, swap it out. And they'd always listen to him. His name was Kareem. He was Moroccan, bro. Safest manager. Because as well, he gave us two breaks. Imagine, bro. In an eight-hour shift, right? Sometimes more, maybe less. You get one break and it's 30 minutes. And you can choose to split it into two. Do two 15 minutes, a 20, 10, or 30, right? I always did my break in 30 minutes, right? One 30 minutes in. And um, what Kareem would do... So the area we worked in, it was the owners and trainers of the horses. Um, which basically meant the people that owned the horses and trained them in the horse races were there. It was like the VIP lounge, essentially. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and, like, we'd have night, a hot food buffet, coffee station, and alcoholic drinks and soft drinks. The, al the alcoholic and soft drinks were all paid for. Everything else was for free, right? And it was, a, it was an easy job. Um, but, yeah, so when what would happen is around 3.30, 4 o'clock, They'd switch out the hot food for tea time, I guess, or, or for tea, um, which is basically like like cakes, sandwiches, small small little things like that, cold food, you know, that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, and what would happen before throwing the food out, what he would do, he'd pick two, maybe three people at, at once to go, you know, to the back and have a 10, 15 minute break to have some food and chill out. Because at that point of the shift, it would start to ease down a little bit, you know? I loved it, man. Same pay as well. Let's go. I reached Kogu with Sushi Chalmers and I switched back and forth with Plants too. And how to use this. Nice. Good stuff, uh, Cyclone. Yeah, I saw you post on someone's server with the, the Sun Avalons. Happy for you, bro. Yo, Borek, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Cream. Hopefully, I'd rather just go home. Honestly, I'd rather just go home earlier if it's only 30 minutes for eight hours. Really? I get what you're saying. I mean, the pay was decent for a part like part-time job, college student. May it was it was decent pay, and like every April the pay would increase a little bit. It wouldn't be by a crazy amount. It would be like I don't know. It didn't matter anyway. Pay raise is a pay raise, right? All right, cool. Last area. It's a quick event, man. Shit. I thought it would be like um, the tag jewel events where it takes like an hour or two hours or something. But well, this is quick. The new Sherry skill doesn't look that good. Someone told me it was good. Who was it? So was it Maximus? Someone said like she can bring out use like utilize level nines or something like that. Or am I tripping? They need to give a skill like that for Quinton actually. Quinton needs a, you know how Shark had a Territory of the Shark skill? He needs something like that for machines. You can change all machines to level nine. But like the, obviously it's a crazy, crazy, you know, number, level nine. So I think maybe you should be like, oh, you can only special summon machine monsters using this effect or something like that after you use this effect. Something like that, you can't go too crazy with the extra deck. You know. It's in the last area, area five. We'll read it then when we when we finish this event, the speed one. It's right there as well. Yeah, you're right. You're right. See if I get prizzy luck as well. I keep getting good prizzy luck on stream with the drops. <laughs> We've got the Sun Avalon Link One on stream. <laughs> that's, that's still crazy. I need to clip that. Uh, we got the um, what was the other one uh, on stream? The Galaxy Dragon, the the XC's one. Yeah, that one was crazy from uh, Nazar's event. I don't understand why we didn't sync for summon or whatever. Damn, did piercing to me.
Wait, what's a side deck? Uh, like you can use two. No, a side deck is basically like 15 cards that you swap in and out of. So basically, a side deck. Let's say, for example, I'm playing Duel Links, right? And the meta right now is Dark Monsters. In my side deck, I'd put stuff to counter certain decks, like the most popular decks. So you'd put Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, maybe some Econs or something like that. Just, you know, little tech cards, right? And then in between matches, you can swap cards in and out, but your deck size has to stay the same. So if you're gonna put a side deck card in, you can't add it on top of your deck, you have to swap it with a card. So yeah. That's the best way I can describe it to you. Yeah. I wouldn't really use a side deck in a Duel Links tournament. For me, I don't see any point. Just play the freaking game. But, again, if you want a side dark hole, that's something I would do. Dark Triple dark hole side deck. I'd do that just to be an arsehole. Even if I lose, just make it a rat infested hellhole experience for my, for my opponent. I have zero respect for Yu-Gi-Oh players, bro. Screw them, honestly. Especially for those stupid old tryhards that piss me off so much. The Sherry skill gives Beatrice off one card, apparently. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was good. And they play zombies of the, the floor cards with the new skill. Oh, well, you got the Necro versions then. S Sushi Charmers, I'm picking. I feel like someone else used that one time as well. Hey, most of the charmers are free to play as well. So, if you want to bring it to a free to play tournament, you might be able to. You might, you could win a cyclone next time we do a free to play tournament. But obviously, you'd only be able to use the zero gem charmers with the Sioux ship stuff. The Sioux ship, the Sioux ship stuff is in a box. I remember someone using that was it, uh, charmer mech knights in free to play one time. Might have been Borak. Borak had a really cool free to play mech knight deck. So did Uf. Uf had a cool one as well. I watched back on yesterday and they didn't even pull a substitute. But yeah, if I should be coming locals today. Yo, RPG Prince, what's up, bro? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. That was give RPG Prince. Awesome. Welcome. I have a question. What do you guys feel skills should do and should not do? Oh, good question. I think skills should allow uh, responses. Because the thing that makes them so broken is you can't respond to them. We need an anti-skill, like in Yu-Gi-Oh! You, Reigns. If you didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! You, Reigns, uh, anti-skill, pretty much, when your opponent activates a skill, you can negate the skill and draw two cards. I feel like if they did that, they wouldn't do the draw cards. Maybe just negate it, and it'd be like a once per duel. I think they should do that. Draw one card instead of two. But yeah, um... Basically, look, I'll, I'll say this. There was a lot of problems with the skills. One thing I don't like, because one thing we, I've been seeing a lot recently with the text of some of these stupid skills, is the fact that they, um, how do I say this? Uh, they play around disruption, you know? Because for, for example, the Destiny Hero skill would say, if you summon uh, a Destiny Hero monster, so it doesn't matter if you Compulse, Warning Point, Crackdown, they, they've met the condition, they've summoned successfully. Obviously, if you negate the summon, it's a different story. But at the time when Destiny Heroes were out, what card was negating summons? None. None at all. You know? Um, no one was playing TGs. That's the only card I can think of that would negate the summon, like Halberd Cannon and stuff. You know? So, yeah. Um, that, that's one thing I don't like, is that I'm more recently, like, playing cards for free, magically appearing outside of the deck into your hand. You know? It's just like, what? Like, come on. That's the thing that pissed me off about Raging Pendulum. Like, that, that shit needs to stop, you know? I do like how they've changed, you know, when you play cards for free, you know, I like how they are played to the field face down. So then at least it gives an opportunity for your opponent to respond when you flip them face up. Does that make sense? But other than that, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, and again, they're beca it's becoming like pendulums too, like with how much text is in these skills. Why does there need to be so much text in the skills now? 
Do you get what I'm saying? I guarantee you this Sherry skill is going to have a lot of text to read through. Like, Yugo players on their own don't like to read. You feel me? So, why would you have something like that and force them to read? And not just that, like... Oh, it's just... Yeah, it's just silly. It's just stupid. In all honesty. Um, there's so much I can say about it. But, like, I, I know why they're making the skills more ridiculous and putting more text and adding more loopholes to it to try and play certain ways and certain things. Is because of the way the meta is shifting. We're getting more floodgates. We're getting hand traps. The skill. One thing that needs to become stronger is skills, which now means the skills are more of a crutch thing now in the game. You know, they've always been a major part, but for it to be crutch is, it's not good. Because now decks, you know, now instead of relying on your ability to play, it's just down to your skill now, like your actual like in-game skill, not your playing skill. Like your playing ability, you know? Was Rorum? Oh, he said that? I remember Maximus telling me it was really good. I remember you used to main deck Desperado. Hell yeah. I remember DLE raided me when I was using Desperado. And I thought I was screwed. Because everyone said, stop using Desperado. Stop using Desperado. And I thought, like, I, this was my first time getting hate because I knew how toxic the Yu-Gi-Oh community was. My heart was racing, bro. I was nervous. I was like, shit, am I getting hate for the first time? Like, what's going on? But he ended up saying in the chat, I told him to tell you to stop using Desperado. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, he was cool, man. Shout out to him. He raided me twice, man. The first time he raided me was, like, early in my Twitch stream. I gained, like, some loyal viewers for a little while after that. You know, people really uh, liked my content. So shout out to him, bro. He really helped me. I was around like 70 followers at that time. I just got partner, uh, not partner, affiliate. So it, it really did help. You know. It, this is a nice play, man. I like it. But one thing, that's one thing that's pissing me off about this game. Why are they not... It really annoys me not giving matching card sleeves. Why is it just play mats? Give us card sleeves too. Because they're never going to give it to us ever again, you know. Orca send one Despacito. <laughs> nah, it says... I, to be fair, he's probably talking about that, but I, before I was playing Mechlord Desperado. When Mechlord, when Primo first came to the game, uh, you'd play like Black Salvo, uh, the spider that destroys itself and destroys the opponent's card, and you play Wysaw and freaking Desperado with it. It was cool. But yeah, that, that's my take, Prince. How come you ask? Are you starting to get an order of the skills? You can put in the Charmer Monsters, which are Zero Gem. And the skill gives you the spell. Well, there we go. There you go, Cyclone. I had to go through the whole box for all Art Borolo Dragon. I hate alternate Art Borolo Dragon. It looks like he's sucking penis, bro. I don't like it. It's, yeah, it's, it looks horrible. Got some long ass neck, bro. That is wrong. That is weird, bro. I don't like that. His alternate art is horrendous. Any genetic skills not for archetypes would be good. Oh, as in like you don't like the arc? Yeah, archive skills need to go, by the way. They need to go. I don't like them. They shouldn't have come to the game. That's what's made the game worse as well. Because now you make them archetype specific, like extremely specific. Oh, they can go crazy now. And the thing is, the archetypes they usually give them for are the TCG archetypes. And what I mean by is they don't have characters locked to them. So they can make them as broken and as crazy as they want. And it's just like, come on, dude. You know? Is that enough? Yes. Let's go. That is a nice little play, man. Would you look at that? Cool. I think that's the event done, right? That looks cool. Zone complete. Nice, dude. Pretty sure that's everything, right? I think that's it, yeah. Hold on. Change area. Yeah. Okay, let's read this skill actually. Hold on. 